Simmers, this is Seattle Sims and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be just discussing some genuine thoughts that I have about the uh, new game pack that is coming to The Sims 4. Today it was announced that The Sims is partnering with Star Wars to release the next game pack, which is Star Wars Journey to Batu. Now, I have been watching a lot of other Sims YouTubers react and share their thoughts about what they think um, in regards to the new game pack, and I have to say that I do not necessarily agree with a lot of them, not to rain on anybody's parade, but as a general Sims consumer and as a smaller YouTube channel, I am not necessarily excited about this game pack. Although I have seen a few of the Star Wars movies, they're definitely not my most um, favored movie out there in the world or favored uh, series out there in the world. I am definitely more of a Star Trek fan. So like if this had been a Star Trek pack and my Sims were able to go on the Enterprise and like go on a bunch of missions to a bunch of worlds that have yet to be discovered, I think that would be really great. But honestly, this Star Wars pack, it seems to be very similar to Strangerville in that there's a storyline based on the most recent Star Wars movies that came out. And you can create yourself as a Sim and join either the Jedi or the Sith and do whatever you need to do in this um, game pack. I have a lot of respect for the larger Sims YouTube channels, but I genuinely have the question to them, like, once you play through this game pack once, how often are you going to use the elements from that game pack again? Like, are you going to use the create a sim items? Because I don't think a lot of them use the Star Wars create a sim items that are already available. Are they going to, you know, go back and play through the storyline again and again? Because I know a lot of them don't play through the Strangerville storyline again and again. And a lot of them think that it's really annoying from what I have noticed. It's great that they're excited about it because they love Star Wars, but I mean, really, how often are they going to use these elements again? Which I think is also why a lot of smaller simmers and general simmers are very upset that this game pack is what is coming to The Sims 4 next. I know that a lot of people have been looking forward to maybe getting a farming pack, whether it be expansion or game pack. I think it would be great if we got a farming expansion pack and we got a lot of stuff in there. But I know that's been something that they've been looking forward to since, I want to say, when Seasons came out. And I know for me, when the Icon leak happened, I know a lot of people started speculating Star Wars right away. I, however, when I saw the uh, game pack Icon leak, I thought, well, maybe it might be Star Wars, but I'm hoping more so that it's going to be space related and maybe we get more maybe we get more stuff for our alien sims because our alien sims right now are like super boring. That being said, I think maybe the Star Wars pack might be beneficial for our alien sims and we might get more create a sim items to create more diverse aliens and maybe some build items that will allow our sims to have like alien like homes which would be great for our alien sims but then again I also have to ask the question how diverse are those items going to be because they're still going to be Star Wars themed and I don't think I want all my sims aliens looking like Star Wars aliens <laughs> you know what I mean on top of that when the game pack icon was leaked I also thought well, maybe this could be hinting towards another occult sim coming to The Sims 4, which would be awesome because we're missing quite a few occult sims still in The Sims 4. In particular, I thought maybe we'd get werewolves because we haven't seen them yet, and I think having a werewolf game pack would be great in relation to vampires and also that Batman movie is coming out with Robert Pattinson. I mean, come on, bring back the Twilight days <laughs> of vampires versus werewolves. And on top of that, I thought maybe it could also be fairies and maybe we were getting a fairy world because we haven't seen fairies yet in The Sims 4 and they are also a staple supernatural occult sim to The Sims franchise. However, that did not happen and we ended up with a Star Wars pack instead. That being said, I think that this pack will be great for people who really like Star Wars, but I do not see myself purchasing it or even using it in the future 
in any capacity. So yeah, that's my two cents on that. If you agree with me, be sure to give this video a like and comment down below what you think. I'd love to hear what other people actually think of this pack. I know I have very differing opinions from a lot of other people probably, but I'd love to know like who would have wanted to have like a werewolf pack or a fairy pack or even a more expanded Sims alien pack would have been bomb in my opinion, but I'd love to hear what other people think of that as well. And please be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, please be sure to support me on Patreon. Thank you all and have a great day.